Welcome to the Kansas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers Virtual College Fair. My name is Jasmine. I'm going to serve as your facilitator for our session today. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping announcements. The first, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our amazing presenters at any point throughout our session today. The second, your camera and microphone are off, so we are not able to see or hear you. Third, this is just one of many different sessions happening, so feel free to visit our registration site to sign up for additional sessions. And finally, this presentation is being recorded, so you will have access to the recording within about a week or so. With that said, I want to introduce our first presenter, WSU Tech. Thanks, Jasmine. Hi everybody, my name is Cody and I am the high school recruiter here at WSU Tech and I want to introduce you guys just a little bit uh, to who we are and what we offer and so we're going to go ahead and get this screen share pulled up and we'll go ahead and get started with this. Um, this is a brief presentation so if you do have any questions like Jasmine said, please make sure that you're using the chat feature and putting those questions in there and I'll make sure that I address those at the end of my time. First off, if you haven't done so already, please make sure that you're following us on all the major social platforms. Um, this is the best way for you to make sure that you're staying up with information and things that we have to offer. Um, so if you're following us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, any other platform that I failed to mention, oh, TikTok, all of them, right? You'll make sure you don't ever miss anything. Here at WSU Tech, we are really aiming to deliver high tech, high wage, and high demand career pipeline for students looking to enter the workforce. We partner with employers to equip people with relevant skills for jobs, not only for today, but also for the future. We're a technical college and we offer state-of-the-art facilities and equipment labs uh, for our students to train their skills and educate themselves wanting to enter trade. We have over 75 certif certification or degree options for students to choose from. And some of those things can be completed in as little as one semester, or you can build, like I had mentioned, up to an associate's degree with us in that technical field. We've got courses that are online, in person, during the day, at night, so we can really build a program or a, a schedule that's gonna work best for you. But it's not just technical education programs that we offer. We also have transferable general education classes that you can use and build towards a bachelor's degree if that's something that you'd like to do. And that's uh, an option called the Shocker Pathway. And I'm going to let our marketing team tell you just a little bit about that. Take the Shocker Pathway and earn Wichita's most convenient associate's degree. This prestigious two-year course of study is offered by WSU Tech in partnership with Wichita State University. The Shocker Pathway starts at WSU Tech and is completed at Wichita State University. It's an affordable degree program with all classes taught in Wichita or online. Visit wsutech.edu to get started. Shocker Pathway classes begin soon. Those general education courses that you would be looking at uh, inside the Shocker Pathway can also transfer to other public institutions. So if you're looking at a school or a university that's not Wichita State University, we can help you transfer there as well. Um, but as I'm talking about WSU, let me talk about our partnership there for our students to participate in uh, a traditional college experience. And this is going to be through the Shocker Experience Program, and that's going to give our WSU Tech students an opportunity to live in the dorms, participate in intramural sports, uh, have access to the rec, go to athletic events, uh, go to uh, performing arts events and other things that happen on campus. You'll have an opportunity to participate in that just like a full-fledged Wichita State member, but you would be taking our classes at WSU Tech. Uh, we have four campuses across the Wichita area. I could literally talk all day about our programs and the things that we offer, and I've got about another three minutes to get through this, so it's gonna speed up just a little bit. This is our National Center for Aviation Training, and this is where we have all of our manufacturing, aviation, and design courses. We have partnerships with NIAR, the National Institute for Aviation Research. They have classes and training uh, options here on this campus as well. 
Um, we're currently taking campus visitors. So if during this presentation, you see something that you're interested in and you would like to come out and set up a visit, please get ready to take down my contact information at the end of this presentation so that we can schedule that for you. This is our uh, city center campus, excuse me. This is located right in the heart of Wichita, uh, right behind East High School. And this is our skilled trade campus where we teach uh, several different areas. You can see those on the screen. But the thing that I wanna highlight about this campus is this is a, a campus that has most of our applied learning opportunities. And applied learning opportunities are things that can uh, give students an opportunity to earn and learn at the same time. So our automotive program, climate and energy control, information technologies, construction science, industrial automation, all offer this earn and learn model. And that's just a few that we have at WSU Tech that you can participate in an internship or an apprenticeship. This is our healthcare campus, WSU located in Old Town. This is a shared space with Wichita State University. And so they have programs located at this campus for their phys uh, physician's assistant and their physical therapy program. Um, but we've got short-term nursing. We have practical nursing, surgical technologies, and we also have programs in dental assisting, emergency medical technician, and veterinary nursing. But in addition to those programs, if you're a pre-med student that's looking to build an undergrad degree, we can help you with that with our classes like biology, chemistry, anatomy, and physiology, just to name a few. WSU South is our general education campus. Uh, this campus has got some, some great opportunities for students. If you're looking for a, a quiet place to study in between classes, or maybe you're a gamer and you wanna you know, catch a game with a couple of your friends in our eSports hub, um, this campus and the three that I had mentioned before it all have its own unique feel. And so again, I would invite you to come out and take a campus visit if you've seen something today that you're interested in. Here's my contact information. Again, my name is Cody and I'm the high school recruiter. I'd welcome a phone call or an email from you if you would like to talk about the things that we can offer here at WSU Tech and how we can assist you in getting started. I appreciate everybody coming and participating today and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much, WSU Tech. Up next, we have Butler Community College. Welcome to Butler Community College. My name is Kirsten Allen and I am an admissions counselor. I'm excited to help you find out more about Butler. We are a public two-year college. Our main campus is in El Dorado, Kansas, just 30 miles from Wichita, and we have a campus in Andover also. We're the Grizzlies and our school colors are purple and gold. Now let's take a look at the Butler Viewbook. Why Butler? Because we have 93 years of experience. We have over 8,000 students, but our average class size is 16. You can come to Butler for your freshman and sophomore years of college, then transfer to a university for your junior and senior years. Or you can come to Butler for a technical program, then start working in your career field. Are you ready for success? Our small classes are offered at seven campus locations. We have hands-on programs, and we have more than 230 online classes. Get ready for the future. Career services can help you write your resume and search for jobs. Also, we have academic advisors who help guide you for a seamless transfer to a university. Are you ready for college life? Students who are involved on campus are more likely to graduate. At Butler, we have over 30 clubs and organizations you can get involved by being part of our proud tradition with Butler Athletics. When you enroll, you get a student ID card and get in free to athletic and fine arts events. You can be just minutes away from your classes. We house 380 students in our residence halls on our El Dorado campus. Here is a student life video so you can picture yourself at Butler.
you will have your own support team. Ask questions in class and get to know your professors. Seek out our support services because we offer free tutoring, student health, and free counseling. The safety of our students is important to us. At El Dorado and Andover, we have campus police officers who are here to keep you safe. Get ready for affordable classes because Butler students save thousands of dollars each year when compared to state universities. When you fill out the FAFSA, you're applying for grants, student loans, and work study. We have academic scholarships based on high school GPA or ACT score and many other scholarships too. Students always ask, can you stack scholarships? Yes. For example, if you have a 3.5 high school GPA, then you qualify for a $750 academic scholarship. You can combine that with an activity scholarship of tuition and books. Apply for scholarships online for free. Are you ready? Let's go. Your journey to becoming a Grizzly is simple. Follow our enrollment checklist and let us know if you have questions along the way. Thank you. Thank you so much at Butler Community College. Before I bring up our next presenter, I wanna encourage all of our attendees to post any of your questions in our Q&A section. So if you have questions again, at any point, feel free to include those. Um, our next presenter is Wichita State University. Okay. All right, hi everyone. My name is Manuel Alonso. I'm from Wichita State University and let's get it started. I have a presentation about the university and uh, like, uh, like we've been saying, feel free to put some questions in the chat. So here in Wichita State, we're proud to say that we're um, a small university, but um, we have 19 to one student to faculty ratio, which is not that bad. That's why I say it's, it's, it's kind of a small university, but we do have 15,000 students that call themselves shockers. So it's a big university with a small feel. We are the um, Kansas number, uh, research university in the urban setting. So we're the only university here in the state that has a research university and uh, we're in an urban setting. Like I just said, 40% are first generation and we're proud of our diverse population here on campus. So 38% come from a diverse background. We are the number one transfer destination for students from a junior college here in the state. And um, let me get going as we start mentioning some of the perks of being a shocker. For example, all the athletic events, you have access to all the division one sports that we have here on campus. So volleyball and of course, uh, basketball. So as a student, you get access to that for free. We like to talk a lot about our opportunities that we have here on campus. So internships, we are really big on internships here. We uh, go above and beyond to provide opportunities for our students that could really help them excel in their professional life. So for example, um, this, uh, if you take a look at these pictures here, you could see the opportunities that we have here for you. So even something like a NASA internship is available from aerospace engineering. And uh, like I said, we have a Shareer, uh, Shocker Career Accelerator, which is an office that's usually called uh, like a student career development office, but we call it a Shocker Career Accelerator. And that's where you um, ultimately would go to find all these professional connections. And like I said, we go above and beyond to make sure that you have a job after, after you're here at the university. So let me get going with campus life. Campus life is very important to us. So we go above and beyond with that as well. So we have 270 plus student organizations and we do a lot of interesting stuff here on campus. And especially now this year coming up, we are hopefully, we are hopeful that everything will kind of go back to normal. So we will have Welcome Fest, which is basically a festival that goes on in August when everybody's back from vacation. We have 23 Greek life organizations. So there's some, if you're interested in fraternities and sororities, we have that option here for you. And uh, like I said, Shocker Athletics. So all the basketball games and all the volleyball games, anything going on on campus regarding to athletics, you have access to that for free. And this is division one sports. So the games are very competitive and very fun to watch. And once a week we have WSU Food Truck Plaza get populated with trucks that come by around lunchtime and you could actually have some of the best food truck food here in Wichita come to you. And um, 
it's a great option, especially on a nice sunny day to go out there and, and walk around and get some get some delicious food from, from our Wichita food trucks. And if you're a gamer, uh, this we have a great esports lab here in the Hesket Center. It's the place to be if you're interested in games. And what you can do is just go out there and check it out. Our um, esports team is very friendly and they can let you jump in some games if that's what you're interested in. And let me get going with housing. So housing is very important to us. Uh, all these facilities are brand new. The oldest one being built at 2015, I believe, and that's Shocker Hall. So that's primarily freshman living. And what it is is single and double and single occupancy. And uh, the benefit of this is that you're actually inside the dining hall itself. So you don't have to walk outside in the freezing cold if you don't need to. So you have that also another facility that you have there is living learning communities. So let's just say you're interested in a certain major, uh, whether, let's call it engineering. You will, you have the option to live in a living learning community, which means you are basically living with the same type of students that have the same mindset you do, meaning that they're also engineering students. So you'll have the same classes with them. More than likely you'll have to uh, do activities with them after, after class. And if they live with you, it just makes it that much easier for you to communicate with them and, and be able to expand on your ideas that you might've had while you're working in your classroom. So we have a laundry and kitchen on lounge on each floor. And um, these facilities, like I said, are brand new, but these are even newer. So the suites, they were opened in 2019. They're very new. They're also freshmen living, but these are more single occupancy rooms. They have a very apartment type feel, which means that they have a laundry and a kitchenette in every single unit. They also have a clubhouse and a gaming house, but we also have another option for our returning or upperclassmen and that's called the flats. So that was open in 2017 and they also have an apartment style living, which means that they have a laundry and a kitchenette in it within the unit itself. And all these, you, you all these include our utilities and Wi-Fi. Let me get that out there. And you also get some dining dollars. So you could go check it out at the RSC, for example. And I'll get going on some student resources that we have here on campus. We have free tutoring. We offer free tutoring for any major that you may have. And we offer a huge menu of, of careers here that you could have access to. And let me get some other options that you have here, financial resources, first year experience. And like I said, we have a campus safety. We're big on campus safety. And we have a couple of travel opportunities, but uh, I, I'm getting running short on time, so I urge you to go to wichita.edu and check it all out. And um, that's some quick admissions for, cri for criteria admissions real quick. And uh, I don't know how short I am on time, but um, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to reach out to me at, and there's my information, so thank you. Thank you so much, Wichita State University. Our next presenter is Pratt Community College. And Sarah, you are on mute. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Sarah Benford and I am an Associate Director here at Pratt Community College. We are a two-year community and technical college located in South Central Kansas in Pratt, Kansas, just 75 miles west of Wichita, if you are not familiar with where Pratt is at. Um, so one of the big searches when you're looking at colleges, what do they offer um, major-wise technical programs and certificate programs? And how many do we offer here at PCC? We have 22 academic majors. I like to call these transfer majors uh, because we're looking to boost you onto a four-year school and complete that major um, and get your bachelor's at the four-year level. A lot of popular work popular ones right now are your pre-med and education and sports administration here at PCC. We do have 17 technical and certificate programs. These are very specific to PCC. Uh, technical programs are very hands-on programs. You're looking at two years here, very uh, hands-on in the shop. And then once you graduate, you are ready to hit the workforce. 
and start working in that field. Uh, we just added welding is new for us this year uh, with our linemen automotive and diesel mechanics being very popular here at PCC. Certificate programs are gonna be a one year spin off of that technical program, one year certificate and two year technical programs. Again, these are very specific to your community college that you choose to attend. We have a total of 53 degrees in certificate options with a 15 to one student to faculty ratio. We have classes offered in person, online and hybrid courses. So as far as academic and student resources, so what is available to you as a student here? We have free tutoring, um, an excellent computer resource in our library. Students are able to check out laptops for up to 30 days and utilize that um, if you do not have your own laptop. We have free on-campus counseling and a free on-campus nurse available to you guys as well. So what is there to do on our campus when you're not in class? Obviously, athletics is a huge one. Um, we do have men's and women's sports, uh, basketball, baseball, softball, soccer, volleyball, wrestling. We have a very competitive cheer team and cross country and track and field as well. If you're interested in participating in sports here, I would encourage you going to gobeaversports.com and filling out a recruiter questionnaire. Um, outside of sports, we have our special activities, which are very unique here to PCC. Um, two, three of those that are very unique is our men's and women's rodeo team, our trap shooting sports team, and our esports team. Um, esports is video gaming at the competitive level. And we also have performing arts, which is going to um, encompass your drama and theater, encore choir, and pet band as well. Our activities do provide books and tuition scholarship in addition to athletics as well. Uh, student activities and clubs and organizations, there's ways for you to get involved outside of athletics and activities. Uh, these will include scholarships, but we do have intramural sports. If you're still interested in being competitive, but maybe not practicing every day with the college team, um, we have a ton of guest speakers as well as movie nights and pizza nights with the presidents throughout the year. So we offer what you wanna major in, maybe what you wanna be involved in on campus. So what are your next steps to become a student here? Uh, you would submit an online application. It is free to do so at that two-year community level and can be completed at any time. You would wanna submit test scores as well. At the two-year level, we are what we call open enrollment and we can utilize the placement score or ACT with no minimum score requirement. And definitely get in and submit your scholarship applications and get in your outside scholarship applications as well. I would highly encourage if you are interested in PCC, get into contact with your admissions counselor and work through that enrollment process. We do have enrollment open and housing available to you if you are a senior this year. Um, and get on a scheduled um, individualized campus visit. This is gonna be the best look into what life is like here on campus. You can meet with coaches, activity directors, instructors, and really hone in and talk about the, your program of interest. A big thing about the community college level is the cost information. If you're an in-state student, you're looking about $119 per credit to attend credit hour to attend PCC, um, as well as you just your overall sticker price is gonna be around um, that $10,860 to attend for a full year um, at PCC. All right, so if you guys are interested in PCC, check out our website, which is prattcc.edu. Um, you can find who your admissions recruiter is there and give us a call and schedule a tour. Thank you. Thank you, Pratt Community College. As a reminder, feel free to pose any of your questions in that Q&A section. With that said, I wanna break up our next presenter, which is Manhattan Area Technical College. All right, thank you. My name is Michelle. I'm with Manhattan Area Technical College, and I will go ahead and get started. So Manhattan Tech is located, oops, there we go. 
We are located on the west side of Manhattan, Kansas, and we are right next to a really nice park called Seco Park. Uh, we are a technical college that provides uh, uh, programs in the trade industry and also in allied health. And so we'll kind of uh, touch on those here shortly. We do have smaller class sizes. So those are gonna be uh, average roughly about 18 to 20 students in a classroom. And uh, there are obviously like our nursing program would have about 40, but by and large, most of them are gonna be about 18 to 20. Uh, all of our programs are gonna be very much hands-on learning, which students really enjoy. Um, so it's not just sitting in front of the classroom. So we do have, um, obviously, whether it's if you're in some of the medical fields, we're going to do hands-on learning in the clinical site, or if you're doing more of the trades program, it could be at a shop, it could be um, a clinical site, or I'm sorry, a, a field like our lineman program where you're going to be out on those kind of a, a setting. So uh, we do have skilled instructors who have been out in the workforce prior to starting to instruct. And so they've had that background as well, which is very, very beneficial to students when they go out in the workforce because uh, instructors are able to help them with some of that networking as well. Um, so we'll kind of just start talking about some of the different programs that we have. So the first one I want to talk about is our automotive technology program. So this is a full two year program. This one is an associate's degree. Uh, students will go through and learn about 2000 tasks um, in this program. It's all ASC certification, um, but it is a very interesting field. Then we have our business administration field. This one has two different areas you can focus on. You can go into accounting support or administrative support. Um, then we have our information and network technology. That is a two-year associate's degree program. That one is one that uh, focuses like on cybersecurity and IT support. Students will come out being like a system administrator when they would uh, complete that program. One of the unique things about that one is that one has their very own network server, which is independent from our campus network server. Uh, the second year students would actually be um, like a system administrator for the first year students and are able to operate that network server, which is kind of unique. And then back on the trades, we have air conditioning and refrigeration and construction technology, two different programs. Uh, those programs are, again, you can choose to do a certificate, which again is a nine month program, or you can choose to do an associate's degree for a two year program. Uh, both of those programs, we do a lot of uh, work on our campus, um, in addition to being able to go out in the community as well. Uh, those programs both work with Habitat for Humanity, uh, which is uh, an organization and they do work with that. Building House um, is one of the things that they do. And uh, obviously the heating and air conditioning program touches on heating and air conditioning, obviously, as well as uh, working with um, um, electrical and doing some plumbing work as well. And then we have electric power and distribution, which is also known as a lineman program. Uh, one of the big things with getting into this program is getting your unrestricted class A CDL, uh, because in our program, you actually will get to drive um, the bucket trucks, the digger trucks, and so forth. Uh, so you do need to have that in order to get into this program. And then we also have our welding technology program, which is another program that we have that you can do in the nine months or the certificate program. Um, and then we have a brand new program that's starting up this fall called Critical Environments Technology. Um, this program is kind of unique. It, it blends building automations with our um, critical environments. So you're looking at something where you have to maintain like a, um, the atmospheric pressure. So it involves both of those areas. And then our biotechnology program is one that we're bringing back. Um, it's actually going to look at starting next year, um, fall of 2022. But that one would be one where you would really have to have a bachelor's degree and come back and get that certification. And then in our allied health programs, we have um, in our healthcare, we have all of these programs. You would have to already have your um, um, do some prerequisite classes, which you can do all of those at our campus. And then uh, practical nursing is one you would have to get your CNA license. Again, you can do that with us as well. And then the practical nursing program, but we also have associate degree nursing and then medical laboratory technology. So those are all ones in our allied health fields. And then we have in our short-term allied health trainings, we have certified medical aid, certified nurses aid, emergency medical technician and phlebotomy. These would all be a semester or less as far as getting through those. Um, and so those are all programs that we offer multiple times usually throughout the, the school, uh, the calendar year. And then as far as steps to apply, so um, we have a QR code there that you're welcome to scan uh, in order to get to our application process. Uh, but you would simply, uh, it's an online application. We would just need your official high school transcript sent to us. Certainly we would encourage you to apply for financial aid. 
Um, we have, um, you can submit your ACT scores or you can complete an ACT placer. Um, and then our school code for applying for financial aid. We would highly encourage you to schedule a campus visit. We are doing those either in person or virtually. Um, you can click on that link. You can also go to uh, our website. You can call me or you can scan that QR code if you would like more information. We would be happy to have you come on campus. All right, thank you so much. And I appreciate you guys' attention today. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, we have Drake University. All right, good morning, everybody. Let me get my presentation going here. Um, so my name is Evan Favreau. I am uh, an admission counselor from Drake University. I work with students from the entire state of Kansas. Uh, and I'm here to give you a very quick, brief uh, overview of what Drake University is all about. Uh, if you like what you hear, hopefully Drake is a school that you will continue to uh, explore and learn more about in the coming weeks and months. Um, but let's start with the most important thing. At Drake, we are the Bulldogs and we have our own Bulldog at Drake. We have a live mascot. Uh, his official name is Griff. This is actually Griff 2. He started his, uh, his term with us uh, this past summer. Um, we call him also George as uh, this specific dog's nickname, but having a dog on campus is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. But there's a lot of other good stuff about Drake as well. Um, in terms of our size, uh, and let me actually back up a quick sec, just really basic. Drake is a four-year private university in Des Moines, Iowa. So we're about three-hour drive north of the Kansas City area. And we are definitely a, I would say, small, medium-sized school is kind of the, the experience when you're a Drake student. So for our student population, we have just under 3,000 students. Um, so definitely on the, again, the smaller side of medium. And that does give you a lot of great small school benefits when you're a student at Drake. 10 to 1 is our current faculty to student, uh, I'm sorry, student to faculty ratio. 21 is our average class size. What this size really means is that every step of the way at Drake, you have personal guidance and personal mentorship. You always have an advisor who's a professor in your major. So you always have go-to people to help guide you through every you know, step of the process. And that guidance can be really important because when you start at Drake, we don't expect you to have your entire life figured out. Um, if you come in with a major and a career goal in mind, that's awesome and we'll, we'll help you make that happen. But if you wanna just come in and explore or add double majors, minors, concentrations, there's a lot of room for that at Drake. And we do offer over 100 undergraduate programs across a pretty wide variety of areas. Sometimes it's easier to say what we don't have than what we do have. But you can see that we have arts and sciences, business education, journalism, pharmacy and health sciences, and a lot of pre-law, pre-med, and other kind of pre-professional uh, opportunities as well for students. Outside of the classroom, we have over 140 student organizations. So there is a lot to get involved with, even if it has nothing to do with your major. Uh, if you're an accounting student, you can still sing in the choir, right? Like there's space for everybody to do what they're interested in and passionate about when they're at Drake. Uh, and when you think about the student life at Drake, something that's also good to know is we're about 70% out of state students. So most students at Drake are not from Iowa. So students that come to Drake are usually showing up ready to meet a bunch of new people and being you know, in a new community, a new environment. Like that's a big part of the experience. It also means that students don't like leave campus every weekend. Like there's a lot going on at Drake uh, every day, every weekend um, to keep you busy. Um, and you know, outside of the classroom as well, uh, with athletics, we are Division I. It's pretty rare for a school our size uh, to be Division I NCAA. Um, basketball is our biggest sport. We had a, a really awesome team this year, and we're expecting them to be uh, just as awesome in the coming years as well. So even at a school our size, you still get to have that D1 experience, which is pretty cool. The biggest event we also host at Drake every year is, are the Drake Relays, which is a huge track and field meet, but it also, for students, is uh, a, a lot of like student traditions. And the picture you see here is something called street painting, where we have this street on campus that we paint every year for the relays. A few students actually paint it and the street looks good, but it's mostly a giant paint fight. So if you ever see pictures of Drake students covered in paint, that's what's happening. Um, there are a lot of other cool traditions that go with the relays, and that's a really big uh, uh, kind of moment on campus every year that happens in April. Our location in Des Moines is another really big part of being a Drake student. You know, Des Moines is a, a city of about 650,000 people, so it's a good sized city. Um, and in Des Moines, Drake is the largest four-year school. And again, we're not that big. So there's enough to go around for everybody. We're not having to compete with like a big state school that's also in Des Moines. Um, so for getting those important internships and experiences, it's really easy to find those in Des Moines. Plus there's a lot of cool stuff to explore like Zombie Burger, the Sculpture Park. Um, soon Des Moines is gonna be home to the country's largest outdoor skate park. And we're gonna host like Olympic trials for skateboarding. Like there's a lot of cool stuff uh, happening in, in Des Moines. And out after Drake, something that's really important for us is making sure students are able to get jobs and find that next step. 
Um, even in the middle of a pandemic, our placement rate uh, last year for our 2020 grads was 95.5% within six months. The six years before that, every year we were over 98% placement. So that's a little lower than what we're used to thanks to uh, COVID, um, but still a result that we're very happy with. Last couple things here, just as you look forward to applying to Drake, uh, we are fully test optional and we've been test optional since before COVID. So this is not a, not a new thing for us. And when you apply to Drake, you can use test scores, do an interview or do an essay. Uh, and that's what we'll use for your application in addition to your transcripts. Uh, currently at Drake, we also guarantee an academic scholarship for every student that's admitted. So for students that were applying to Drake this year, uh, once they were admitted, they were receiving at least $21,000 uh, in an academic scholarship, potentially more. Um, and we also, in addition to those guaranteed scholarships, we have a lot of other scholarship opportunities. So even though Drake is a private school that does have a higher sticker price, that cost does come down quite a bit once you apply and once you go through the scholarship and financial aid process. Last thing real quick, if you want to explore more about Drake, we are open for visits. We would love to have you come visit, though opportunities for juniors and younger uh, students are, are a little more limited right now as we make room for our seniors. But we have a lot of virtual opportunities, and that's a great way to start learning more about Drake. And that's it. Thanks. Thank you so much, Drake University. So with that said, that concludes the presentation portion of our college fair today. But I would like to encourage all of our amazing presenters to return. Feel free to turn your cameras back on. Um, students, attendees, feel free to continue um, adding questions in that Q&A section. And I am going to pose a question to our amazing presenters in the meantime. They will respond in the order in which they presented. So our first question is, Give an interesting or fun fact about your school. So I'll go ahead and start. Uh, one of the interesting things about WSU Tech is that as, as recently as this week, um, I'm sorry, last week, we gave, uh, gave away a little over $100,000 in scholarships through our National Signing Day Scholarship. There's still opportunities for you to capitalize on that if you're interested. So make sure that you're using that contact information that we put in the chat and you're reaching out to us. All right. So Butler Community College, as I said, has a proud tradition with Grizzly Athletics and we have 33 former Butler Grizzlies playing in the NFL. Uh, we just rebuilt a bunch of um new stuff here in Wichita State, and we included uh, two Starbucks. So we have two Starbucks here on campus. Um, at Pratt Community College, we are one of four colleges in the United States with the Beaver mascot. Michelle with Manhattan Tech, and we actually uh, just opened up this fall semester, past fall semester, our Wamigo Center. So we opened up a new location. Uh, at Drake, one fun thing we do, I didn't get to mention is along with the Drake Relays, we do a beautiful bulldog contest. So every year we do a beauty pageant on campus for about 50 bulldogs that come to campus from around the country. So that's, uh, that's a pretty amazing uh, moment every year. Thank you all for sharing that information. Um, final question here. What is your favorite event or tradition on campus? I would say that it's absolutely our commencement ceremony. Um, I, I absolutely uh, love seeing our students getting an opportunity to come back um, once they have graduated and finished their programs and, and getting to experience that and celebrate that with their parents and their family and friends. And we will be having an in-person commencement this year. So we're super excited to be having that. All right. My favorite activity on campus is hosting senior day for high school seniors. That is every year in November. And we host one at our Andover campus and one at our El Dorado campus. One fun, thing to, one fun thing to do here on campus is the basketball game. So we have a division one basketball team and it's always fun to go check them out at Coke Arena. My favorite event here at PCC is our technical education day where we showcase each technical program on campus and students are available or able to view three of those programs and visit with students in that program as well. 
I always enjoy our open house that we have every year. So uh, we invite um, high schools, I mean, middle school community members, every age group really. And uh, it's just a fun event uh, for the community to take part in. So my answer would be Drake Relays, which I've already mentioned a few times. So I would also mention for me as an admission counselor, move-in day when all, all of our new students for the year show up and are going to the residence halls and we help them move in. So you actually don't have to carry much, which is nice. Um, that's always a, a pretty great moment um, for me and for the, our, our whole campus. Nice. Thank you all uh, for sharing. Um, with that said, that concludes our college fair for today, but I do have a few closing announcements. So as you exit out of this Zoom session, a survey will appear. It's approximately four questions. Please complete the survey. It is very useful for us as we aim to improve our virtual college fair offerings in the future. Also want to remind you to sign up for additional sessions. So just visit our registration site to do so. And then finally, a recording will be available within about a week or so at strivescan.com slash Kansas. With that said, I want to thank all of our amazing presenters for joining us, but also want to thank all of our attendees. Um, I truly believe that you all gained some valuable information throughout our session today. With that said, I hope everyone has a great day. Um, and again, thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye.